My name's Derek Tesma. I'm retired now, but I used to be employed by Procter & Gamble in the role of Engineering Manager and Health and Safety Officer. And it was in this role that I first became interested in the whole issue of uh, electrosmog and radio frequencies. Back in 2016, the government introduced the Control of Electromagnetic Fields at Work Act. And this meant that the uh, topic had to be risk assessed. And I did this in 2017 at the PNG facility in South Reading. And it was this that actually got me interested in the whole topic of, of the dangers of radio frequency. Uh, I'd actually read my own risk assessment and from that, that's when I started getting involved in the whole uh, anti-5G thing with various groups around the southwest. And we're here, we're here today basically to look at some of these mysterious black boxes which are going up and around Bath. We're, we're starting our tour of Bath here in Henrietta Park and we've just taken some initial readings here. And these are, as you can see, these are very low. And uh, what we intend to do is go around the, uh, take a tour around the city of Bath and just make some comparisons of readings against this rather nice park here. This is um, an acoustometer and this is an uh, instrument which is designed to measure frequency from 200 megahertz up to 8 gigahertz. So this will cover some 5G frequencies but unfortunately with this type of meter we can't differentiate between uh, radio frequency signals. This is an acoustometer. Now what this is doing, this is measuring the uh, radio frequency. And we've got two scales here. We've got peak and average. Peak is the one you really need to concentrate on because that tends to be where the damage is done. Um, due to the nature of a digital signal, which is uh, pulsing and it's on off, the average can be considerably lower than the peak. So this is the one you really need to, to look at. This limit here, this is uh, a biological limit. So if you're electro hypersensitive, then when it starts going into the red, you, you could start getting issues. Under, under that limit, you should be okay. So if you are very electro hypersensitive, this could be a little bit dodgy standing around in this place. The fact that this, uh, this light is close to this one tells us that there's a lot of traffic going on with this thing here. Because the less traffic, the lower the average, the more traffic, the higher the average. Right, so we're in um, Bath City Centre here and we're taking some more readings which are a little bit lower than they were before uh, but they're just basically just holding under the limit for electro hypersensitives. We're around by the Roman Baths now and uh, we're just trying to take a reading of this box up on top of that building which I'm told was a trial for a 5G uh, transmission which I'm guessing is switched off at the moment and so the readings aren't too bad uh, but as you can see there's either two antennas on there or a provision for two antennas which is what you'd expect with a uh, 5G box Right, this is uh, Bath College and we're just taking a reading of these antennas up here and as you can see we're up, we've got a lot higher reading now this is up to uh, 4.5 even touching 6 at times and we're getting a lot more traffic as well come through on the average power settings um, I wouldn't really want to hang around this area for too long I certainly wouldn't want to live, live in this area with these kind of levels transmitting Right, so these are our readings as they are now and uh, it'd be interesting to come back um, later on when these boxes are switched on just to see if there's any difference in the, um, the peak and the average readings. Right, we're near a school in Bath now and these are the readings taken from the mast in the background there. As you can see, 
the actual peak power is actually quite high and this would be a I, I would consider this a bit high for a school and we also have fairly high average power as well this means there's a lot of because these are these two figure, figures are close together this means there's a lot of traffic going on and when I say traffic that means uh, radio frequency traffic uh, signals being sent right we're a bit closer to the uh, the mast now and we, we can see the powers go up a little t a little bit more now interestingly when we walked uh, towards this location the tree over there was in the way and the and the uh, the peak signal dropped off a bit there well to sum up we've had a little tour around Bath today and we've uh, looked at some of these mysterious black boxes which have gone up around uh, Bath city centre they don't appear to be active at the moment and the readings around Bath city centre are nothing particularly to be worried about however the readings around Bath College and at this location near the school the, the readings are quite high here and that would give me some cause for concern